Hello, I'm Claudia Kate, and welcome back to my channel. This is a white glass static sail. Um, if you follow along on Glass with Class with Black Dog Vintage and Antiques and I on Mondays at 1, on 1 p.m. Eastern, then you will have learned along with us that not all white glass is milk glass. And um, if it was a if it was meant to serve food, it is a white glass and not a milk glass because milk glass is not heat resistant. So it is a white glass sale and some of it is milk glass. As always, to purchase an item, just put the number of the item in the comment below. It's also helpful if you add the price or a short description, you know, say mug and if you have never purchased from me before, I will need you to email me your YouTube name, your real name if it's different, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. I invoice through PayPal and I ship through Pirate Ship to get you the best shipping costs possible. And this sale will be good through the 20th. Okay, first item today is this gorgeous Victorian era dresser bottle and it's it's this size so the original probably would have been wrapped in cork is no longer there and whoever had this put some kind of tape or something around it so that it doesn't um, bang around when it's inside the bottle but you can see chipping here that's very common because these items were usually used daily and then paint loss, which is also very common because this is an antique. The pattern on here is this really pretty roses. The painting of the flowers, the hand painting of flowers here is almost completely off. And then you've got a bow on either side. I'm trying to remember if there were any chips or cracks anywhere else. The edge is a little rough, but you can still see gold there, so it's not got any big chips or anything. And with the the stopper in, it is, let's see, 11 inches tall with the stopper in. So this Victorian antique dresser bottle is going to be $25 number four. $25, number four. The next items, I'm going to let them go during this sale for a much cheaper price than I originally had on them. And these are a very hard to find item. They are the six inch McKee stove shakers. I have the pepper, I have the flour. There also would have been a salt and a sugar. And these are large. So I want you to see how large they are. They are the six inch. These are a hard to find item. This one does not have its original shaker top. It should have had a shaker top because flour was shaken into food to thicken it. And this one does have shaker top. I don't know if the shaker top is original. Neither of these have um, any chips or cracks. I did not want to come off. Here's the bottom of both of them. You can purchase them individually and they're going to be $20 a piece. And I originally had, I think 50 on these a piece because these are a pretty cool item. Unfortunately, I don't have an audience large enough to reach somebody who might be looking for a pepper or a flower. They may have the other ones in the set because I'm just a small, small potato reseller. But $20 a piece and if you want one, you put the number in and then you put which one you want. So $20 a piece, number 18, and you'll put either pepper or flour. If you want them both, it'll be $40. These are 
very cool, very large item. Next one is another large item. This is Indiana glass. This is the, I believe, 64 ounce um, pitcher. And it is heavy. And I know these were originally sold in a set with glasses, but I cannot be believe that people sat in the round, around in the 60s and drank out of these super heavy glasses and used these super heavy pitchers. But I do think it would make a fantastic vase for spring flowers, for summer flowers. There is a flaw. That is not a chip. That is a flaw in the mold when this was made. And then there is some staining in the bottom. I let it soak with vinegar, but I kind of think it was probably used as a vase before and not as a pitcher. So it, it's big. Um, I'll tell you how tall it stands. And we're looking at 11 inches on that one. So for this, big mamma jamma no chips no cracks it just has this this defect in the glass that was done during during the process of making it and a little bit of staining in the bottom only $12 it's only $12 because I know that that is going to be heavy to ship and if I had a booth that would definitely be a booth item next item Westmoreland old quilt pattern and this is a large creamer it says wg on the bottom oh that's a bubble in the glass it was like there's not a chip on there it's a bubble inside the glass so no no chips no cracks i'm just double checking no chips no cracks on this one. Oh wait did i just find a chip i think i just found a chip right right here on this point that feels rough but other than that this one stands three and a half inches tall and at its narrowest point four inches across now from handle to spout, it's five and three quarter inches. So it's a nice size. And this one is just going to be $10, number 20. $10, number 20. And sometimes I just have my items randomly mixed together. Like my pink glass sale, that was completely random. This time I priced highest to lowest. So prices are just going to get cheaper from here and out. This is a Welch's wine bottle. There was a very short amount of time where Welch's had been purchased by someone else. And they decided they would bottle wine. And people hated that because it was supposed to be grape juice and for kids. And so they had to stop doing it. But these splatter bottles were their wine bottles. And there is a nice ring of fire across the top. These were made by Hazel Atlas. You can see the HA there. It's this size. I can tell you how tall it is. 10 inches tall. 10 inches tall. I just think it's super cool. They made these in all, the splatter was in all kinds of colors and they actually made the bottles in other colors. I saw a turquoise one that had sold recently, which was pretty cool. $8, number eight. $8, number eight, and you too can own a Welch's wine bottle for the small amount of time that Welch's was bottling wine. All right, next item. Two glasses. And I'm calling this a pineapple pattern, but I could not figure out who made these. They're this size. There's that one. And then here's this one. No chips, no cracks. And I don't remember how many ounces this is. They're five inches tall. So much bigger than a juice glass. They do not stack. 
So for both of them, $8 number 13. $8 number 13 and the pineapple glasses can go home with you. Next item, another Westmoreland piece. And this has crazy ring of fire. Um, this one is the fleur-de-lis, reticulated fleur-de-lis, and it has, has this courting couple on it. Has the classic WG on the back that you're not gonna be able to see, but WG right there. So it is West, a Westmoreland plate. There are no chips, no cracks. And the width on this, seven and a quarter inches at its widest point. So it's this size, seven and a quarter inches. I think this would look so pretty in like a really feminine, um, romantic, um, words. You know, when you stick a bunch of art together, gallery wall, oh my goodness. But mine's already full, so it won't fit into mine. <laughs> but it is super pretty, and it is $8, number two. $8, number two. The next item is an Avon piece. I love all of the flowers on this one, the grass detail at the bottom. It just has so much going on for a little piece because this is little. These, I believe, are from the 1960s. And again, no chips, no cracks. When I did that big clear out, clearance, I got rid of most everything that had a chip or a crack. And I've been working really hard to not buy anything with chips or cracks this year. So nice and clean on the inside. It does have your Avon right in the dead center. This little one is like six and a quarter inches tall with the lid on. Without the lid on, it's only three and three quarter inches tall. So little Avon candy dish, um, trinket dish, throw your rings in there. Just six dollars, six dollars, number six. Next item. E.O. Brody Hobnail Vase. I am a huge E.O. Brody fan because they're made here in Ohio or were made here in Ohio. It was a Cleveland company. We did a, um, a show about it, a glass with class. You can see E.O. Brody here, USA here. So it's just, just your basic vase, but I love E.O. Brody glass. I have a collection of the green planters that they made. And they made these specifically for florists. Yo Brody was a company that sold directly to florists. Um, so this one is just $5. $5 number three for your standard milk glass face. But I like the history behind it. Next item, Hazel Atlas Pear Plate. I love that it's got the flowers on the back and the fruit on the front. There's a lot of detail put into this plate. You know, they also did a strawberry, um, a grape. It's this size. People use these as spoon rests. So if your kitchen needs a little white in it, this would be perfect for a spoon rest. Five dollars, five dollars, number seven, for the Hazel Atlas pear plate. Next is the mug I showed at the beginning. It's a grog mug. My parents had two of these when I was a kid, so this is just takes me right back to my childhood. Grog mug. It's this size. I haven't had coffee out of this in a while. I remember testing it when I first found them. Um, I'm thinking it's an eight ounce with just enough room to put cream in. I'm thinking, you know, after the fifties mugs started to get a little bit bigger and then they got way bigger. Now we have like 20 ounce mugs. You can drink your coffee out of all day long. 
long. $5, number 19. $5, number 19 for the grog mug. And then last one, it's a very specific piece, but this is a Hazel Atlas basket to a hen on nest. And I'm gonna give you the size. So if you have found a Hazel Atlas top to a hen on nest, this might be the piece you're looking for. I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible. So four and a quarter, it looks like. And then um, looks like three and a quarter. Oh no, closer to three and a half, just under three and a half width, but four and a quarter length. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I picked it up that very first garage sale I went to this season because I thought somewhere someone out there is missing the hazel atlas there's the ha bottom to a hen on nest so this little piece is just going to be four dollars number nine if you are the person that needs the hen on nest bottom and that's all of them that is everything for my white glass sale and don't forget to like and subscribe and remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything, and it may mean everything to someone else. Bye, guys.